What's going on guys? It's your boy CMB. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and let's get into this one really quickly. Now guys, uh, once again we are talking about Jamel Lions Only Charlo. Now for those of you who don't know, uh, Jamel Charlo is the current 154 pound undisputed champion guys. And he was set to face off against his WBO mandatory challenger uh, this coming January, uh, January 28th to be specific, at the Michelob Ultra Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, his opponent uh, was Tim Zhu, uh, the undefeated, hard hitting fighter out of Australia. And, you know, that fight's going to be pushed back due to the fact that Jamel Charlo uh, is in a cast. And once he gets out of the cast, of course, he's going to have to rehab his hand. And, you know, prepare once again to face off against Tim Zhu. So, uh, quite unfortunate for both of the fighters as well as boxing fans. It was a fight I think a lot of people were looking forward to. But anyway, guys, I want to talk a little bit about this narrative that's being painted out there about Jamal Char Jamel Charlo uh, being basically faking an injury uh, to get out of this mandatory fight. And... I know on this channel, I like to say that people are entitled to their opinions and they are, you know, people are going to have different points of view. And I, I got my point of view on this. So I want to discuss mine here. And I think this is just a bunch of nothing. Uh, I don't get the impression. I've never gotten the impression uh, that Jamel Charlo is a guy who tries to duck to get out of fights. Uh, he's had two tough fights uh, in this division uh, that he had to run it back. Uh, of course, uh, with Tony Harrison, who is a hell of a fighter, in my opinion, uh, he lost the WBC title to Tony Harrison, uh, went back and, you know, won the second fight, regaining his title. Uh, he had the hard fight with Brian Castano, of course, that was ruled a draw. Uh, he went back, ran it back, and he wound up stopping Brian Castano. And the fact that, you know, he's in one of the toughest divisions in boxing, you guys know 154 pounds is just full of dogs up there. And to become undisputed in that weight class, that's an accomplishment. You're going to have to fight people at 154 pounds. There's no ducking at 154 pounds. So if you if you go up into that division, it's swimming with sharks. Most people who watch boxing on a regular basis knows this. And I just don't get the impression that Jermel Charlo is going to try to duck Tim Zhu. Now, I don't want to take anything away from Tim Zhu. He's a hard-hitting fighter, guys. Uh, I think he lacks in defense a little bit. I, I do. I would give Jermel Charlo the edge in that fight due to the fact that he has a higher boxing IQ, in my opinion. Uh, I think he brings more tools to the table uh, in, in his arsenal. And like I said, I just don't see him trying to duck his mandatory challenger. He's never gave me that impression. And I will say this. A lot of times boxing fans bring their emotions when it comes to these fighters. You know, they're looking at things from an emotional standpoint. Uh, I try to look at things more from a, uh, not an emotional standpoint, but from, you know, I, I make uh, an educated guess on things or educated decision uh you know i look at both fighters i see what they bring to the table uh, i see their past actions and then i make my assessment from there and that's the way it should be done you know you should leave emotions out of it uh when it when it comes to making decisions or you know something like that or something that deals with something like this uh look at the fighter uh history look at what they do uh, just to say a guy's ducking because uh, he has an injury or he's faking an injury, uh, you know, it doesn't make any logical sense to me. Now, I do understand, like I said, people bring their emotions into this. And Jamel Charlo probably rubbed some people the wrong way uh, due to his braggadocious nature. You know, that's just the nature of the business. You're going to have some fighters uh, who talk a lot of trash. You're going to have some fighters who, you know, who don't talk at all. You know, they're they're quiet assassins, but still, you have to look at what they bring to the table when it comes to skills and, you know, their demeanor w when it comes to facing opponents. Jamel Charles never gave me that impression. Uh, I think he is a highly skilled fighter. I think Jamel Charlo deserves to be on a pound for pound list. As a matter of fact, I put him on my pound for pound list. Uh, I did do a video on that. Uh, I invite you guys to go check that out on the channel. But like I said, I think this is a bunch of nothing. Uh, I expect Jamel, Jamel Charlo to 
rehab his hand, get well, and get back in there uh, with Tim Zhu when the opportunity uh, presents itself once again. But you guys tell me what you think uh, about this narrative out there that's being painted about Jamel Charlo, like I said, who's an undisputed champion at one of the toughest divisions in boxing, uh, being afraid to face off against Tim Zhu, so he had to fake an injury. Uh, you guys let me know about that in the comments section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.